Well, hey there, guys. I'm Axel the Beast, and this is the Curiosity Shop, the ZeldaEngine.net video mailbag where I answer your Zelda questions. Our first question comes from Matt Cavanaugh. People seem to like the Ocarina of Time remake, so maybe they should do Majora's Mask too. Well, okay, so I'm not a big fan of remakes. I've done videos about this. Um, I, I don't like the idea of remakes in general unless the original game had you know, a lot of problems and there's something to fix about it. And I generally am against devoting resources to remakes when you could spend them making new games. And I... You know, I don't mind a remake or two in a series. Uh, I, I had no issue with Ocarina of Time 3D, but when they started, everyone started talking about making a Majora's Mask 3D, and now with Wind Waker HD announced and stuff, yeah, I'm just not so into it. I, I'm not uh, all into the idea of um, you just spending a lot of energy developing the Zelda series with, into remakes and stuff when they could just spend all that, all those resources doing something new or something else. Or remaking a game that actually could use remaking, like when they made Four Swords and gave it a single player mode, which I guess is not even available in general, but whatever. Um, so I'm not really for the idea. I'm sure it would be fun though, so that's not like I'm 100% opposed. I just I think they should do something else, and that's been my stance for a while. Um, Jared Rain asks If you had to make a, a wild guess, when is Zelda Wii U going to be on the timeline? Armagoma, because Armagoma is, is in it. Um, well, okay, the Armagoma thing was a tech demo. It's not going to be what Zelda Wii U looks like. There's going to be, I don't think they're going to, I mean, they already Wind Waker HD. I don't see them doing Twilight Princess HD. As for where it's going to be on the, what? Wait, it, it's already out? Breath of the what? <sighs> well, I'm behind the times. All right, well, that's enough silliness, eh? I'm finally back, guys, and it's time to get into the real Zelda questions, eh? Anthony Pallotta asks, I was wondering what your thoughts were on all the Zeldas that have come out since you left. Also, have you gotten a chance to play Zelda 2 yet? No, I haven't yet. I don't know why. It's the one main series Zelda game I haven't even touched. I've played every other one, even if I haven't beaten some of them, like Oracle of Seasons, but I've beaten, I've played a lot of them, all of them, except for that one. I don't know why. As for all the Zeldas that come out since I left, that's a big question. I'll give you the basics. I have not beaten A Link Between Worlds. I was very close. I've been playing it kind of slowly over the months leading up to coming back and playing it a bunch after I came back. Um, but I haven't been doing a lot of gaming in general in my absence. I'll be posting information on what I've been doing uh, in the next day or two on my channel. But um, basically, um, I almost have the game beat. I have only like two dungeons left. And uh, I've, uh, as for Breath of the Wild, I've been playing, I just started it, I've been putting that on my Twitter, it's, it's been a train wreck, to be honest. But, um, you know, I like both games, I'm not going to get into a big uh, explanation of my full opinion on them, I'll do that probably as its own video at some point in the future when I beat both games, but... Um, I do think they're very good games. They're not necessarily my favorites. Granted, Breath of the Wild I just started, so that's not a very absolute statement, but The Link Between Worlds I'm mostly through. It's not my favorite Zelda game, but it is very good. It's it's quite a good game, and uh, I, I've been very much enjoying both games, so yeah, they're, they're a good time. Definitely. Narian asks, My question is, what do you think of Breath of the Wild's lack of music and story? Well, uh, in the case of the music, I will admit, when I first saw the trailers for the game, I was actually a little disappointed because, uh, well, not the trailers, but like the gameplay demonstrations, because I could tell that there was very little music, if any, uh, during most of the game, except like fights and whatnot. Um, I like having Zelda tunes to listen to. I like the way the Zelda games have been laid out in the past where there's a lot of cool tunes to listen to. And I don't just mean recurring tracks, I mean like even the new ones. That It's good music, and I like the background music to adventuring. I really like that stuff. However, I do understand and respect that Breath of the Wild has a very specific open world game goal in mind, and the quietness of the game generally meshes well with its artistic direction, its themes, etc. And especially builds up to one hell of a climax when you get to Hyrule Castle. So, um, I don't know, the, the music that is in the game is pretty good, and the music that plays during the dramatic sections where it plays traditional background music is great. I, was, I especially love the Guardian battle theme because it like sounds so robotic and mechanical, even though it's literally just piano and violin. There isn't a digital sound in the entire song that I can tell. So I just think that's really cool, and it's very good music. Um, it's not my preferred direction to do with the soundtrack, but it is pretty cool uh, for this game. And as for the story, like as I understand, it actually has a fair bit of story. It's just sort of like Metroid Prime rules. Um, obviously, I'm only in the beginning portions, during which portion there was a fair amount of story. But I know that as you go through the game, it's mostly just retrospect stuff and maybe world building. 
But that's kind of like the Metroid Prime rules. Metroid Prime was a game where you found out a lot, of a, a lot about a, a big epic story, but in retrospect, you found records of what was going on that informed what was going on around you in, in present day. And I thought that that was really cool. I consider Metroid Prime a game with a great story, it's just not conventionally told. And uh, whether or not Breath of the Wild will be as well told is going to depend, as I, on, my opinion on that will depend on how, how I feel as I get through the game. But um, my first impression is that uh, it's pretty decent, and if it lives up to Metroid Prime at all, it'll be pretty good, even if it's unconventional. So, yeah. Simic1234 asks, Since Breath of the Wild took so long just to develop the game's complicated engine, how would you feel about Nintendo doing a sort of Majora's Mask approach with the next game, where they use a lot of the technical things made for Breath of the Wild, but with a new gameplay twist and a particularly unique world? It would probably release it late in the Switch's lifespan, too. Um, you know, it's a bit of a interesting question, I suppose. It's That sounds condescending, doesn't it? I don't mean it that way. Uh, it's not something I have a strong opinion on. You know, Majora's Mask is one of my favorite Zelda games, but I don't think, like, it was a very unique game, and I don't necessarily feel like that was a product of how it was developed, unless, you know, the limitations of working within all of Time's specs or whatever uh, made them think really creatively or something. Uh, Breath of the Wild, the way the world is laid out, how open it is, not in freedom, but in terms of... Expanse, you know, expanse. Uh, it's it's not my favorite uh, layout for a Zelda game so far. Anyway, I'm I'm not that far past. I'm not even to Dueling Peaks, okay. So um, uh, I'm not. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm not necessarily too keen on the idea of a, another game that's extremely like it, even if it has a twist. But I could feel different as I get later in the game, and I could feel different if that twist really changed the game, or if. To be fair, the overworld doesn't have to be laid out the same way A Link to the Worlds was, it's because Majora's Masks wasn't. Hyrule Field was an empty plane, pretty much, uh, with branching paths, and Majora's Mask had branching paths, but it was a weird, dense, kind of like, what am I looking at kind of plane, and so maybe it'll be like that. I don't know. Um, you know, it could be cool just to get another Zelda game pretty quickly, but other than that, like, other than the speed with which it came out, I'm not sure I see a strong merit to it. They, they've made clear they want to do this open, uh, freedom-emphasizing direction for all future Zelda games in general, at least the main ones. So, you know, I expect that uh, the next game will take after Breath of the Wild to some extent anyway. Whether or not they reuse assets, I don't know. Rice Smith asks, Did the hang glider work? Yes! Adam Barham asks, What dungeon did you most enjoy in Link Between Worlds? Well, as I said, I haven't quite finished the game, so I, this might change, but I really don't think so. I've beaten all of the dungeons except for the the Ice Tower, or whatever it's called, the, the Death Mountain dungeon in Low Rule, and uh, the, the Turtle Rock, I believe, as well as, of course, the Final Dungeon. But I don't usually count Final Dungeons in this, because either, in the Zelda series anyway... They're either really cool and, like, I think elevate way beyond other dungeons and it's not fair to count them. Or they're actually kind of like otter half dungeons in a sense. Um, and they usually don't make the cut. Um, so I'm, I'm okay discounting uh, Low Rule Castle. Um, however, uh, of all the dungeons I've played, my favorite by a lot, and it's one of my favorites in the series, was the Dark Palace. It's just so spooky. Um so like unconventional and how you had to look at the space because of the darkness and stuff I, i'm a big fan of dungeons that emphasize shadow anyway and require to use the lantern and that one really does it got a little frustrating at points barely being able to see in front of your face um there are other areas in the game that are worse about that though i feel and it just i don't know it was a cool dungeon with like a sick boss when the lights go out and he just starts charging around i just i really like the dungeon it's the my, the funnest thing in the whole game so far for me i don't think it's gonna get beat but hey We'll see. Tyrell Nina asks, which is your favorite and least favorite version of Ganondorf from the Zelda games and why? Um, when I've stopped talking, I've mentioned that my favorite design from is actually the unused human design from the Oracle games. Um, that said, um, I don't know, like in terms of my favorite Ganon, I'm very fond of the demonic pigs. And I guess that elevates Calamity Ganon to quite a bit, although again, haven't really seen him in person yet. Uh, I did see the Blood Moon stuff, and that was ooh, that was spooky. Um, but uh, going by the human ones, I'd probably say it's like an honest tie between Wind Waker and Twilight Princess Ganon, just because there's such different directions. It's like the sympathetic villain Ganon and the Wind Waker with interesting motivations and an interesting backstory, versus the, like, I am the king, this is my castle, I'm gonna kill you, kind of 
wild, like, civilized murderer that we saw in Twilight Princess. So, um, I don't know. They're very different, very cool directions for him. I guess I'm still fond of, like, the demonic pig. But we don't see a lot of the demonic pig. And, uh, that sucks. Anthony Zabo asks, Will the next Zelda game be a Skyward Sword prequel? No? I guess I can't be sure about that, though. Bixie Link asks, I just wanted to know if you think we'll ever get an official Zelda game with sprite-based graphics again. Last one we got was the Minch Cap, and that was almost 15 years ago. Yeah, you know, I have my doubts. I think that, at least at the in the current era, there's a big focus on just using the 3D graphics, and it, that's gone on for a long time, which makes me sad, because I'm a big fan of sprite-based graphics. I was sad when Pokemon went 3D, and uh, I would love to see a sprite-based Zelda game, because I love pixel art, and I think there's some indie games like Hyper Light Drifter and Owlboy that have proven you can do beautiful stuff. I'm really glad we're moving away from, like, just 8-bit or old-timey pixel graphics in uh, indie games, by the way. But uh, I would love to see a game like that for Zelda. I don't see it happening soon, but we might get one eventually. But it could be another 15 years. I'm going to have to face the fact on that one. Jared Rain asks, which Zelda game should get a sequel? Whew. Um, so, yeah, there's a few cases in the Zelda series where, obviously, there have been direct sequels. Scarlet Princess to the Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker to Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time, Link Between Worlds to Link's Past. It's an interesting question of which games are you going to expand on. I wrote, prior to any announcements about Breath of the Wild, really, any real ones, um, that I wanted the new game to take place in New Hyrule, and I still kind of feel like exploring New Hyrule, you know, from Spirit Tracks, uh, in a new game, especially like a big one, like with big 3D graphics and whatnot. Well, there's a contradiction compared to the last question, doesn't it? Um, uh, would be really cool, and I, I think there's a lot of cool ideas that would be interesting to explore in that setting, so maybe Spirit Tracks, but I'm also really fond of the idea of revisiting Termina from Majora's Mask. Not to continue Majora's Mask's storyline, I think that would be a huge mistake. It was very mysterious and needs to be left as it was, but seeing that world again after what happened and seeing a new story there with that kind of place and the giants and whatnot, that, I think, might take the cake. Well, that's it for this time, but what do you guys think? There was a lot of interesting questions this week. You know, what do you think about the story music situation in Breath of the Wild? Uh, what's your favorite dungeon in Link Between Worlds? And I think we're going to make the main one that last one. What Zelda game do you think should get a sequel? Um, you know, post in the comments uh, what you think, your thoughts and whatnot. Be sure to send your questions to the contact information in the description, and I'll see you guys later.